So today I'll be showing you the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Uh, this is my oldest drone now. Now I did have a, another uh, DJI Phantom drone that I bought back in 2012, I believe. And then all that was was just virtually a drone with a camera, a GPO, a GoPro camera, I should say. So I got flies all over me. <laughs> um, and this is... Uh, I, th I think this is the very first sort of drone that had everything. It had the camera, you had the app, you could see what you were doing, you could take photographs, you could take video, 1080, full HD. Um, not a bad distance, 25 minutes of flight time. The weight, would you believe, was 1,160 grams. That was with uh, the props and obviously the battery. I think the battery probably weighs more than what the Mini 2 does now. So it just shows you the weight of this thing. And what I'm going to show you in a minute, I'm going to show you the setup of this drone because it's the very first app as well. It's the DJI Vision app. You can still download it. Anyway, I'll get on with it. <laughs> Right, if I remember rightly, powering up the batteries, you have to double click it. Nothing's happening. Do it again. No, completely dead. So I'm going to try another battery. So this is my second battery. I'm going to see if that works. Straight in, so it's starting to charge up now. So that's pretty good. I've done it for probably two to three years. So wait until that little red light goes green, and that'll be charged up. So with the controller, slightly different. On the back, got to put the batteries in, so it takes four batteries. to show you how things have changed. But what does need charging up is this little magic box at the top here. So I'll just put the power in for that. Get it the right way round. So we just wait until that goes green. So I've charged up this top bit, so that's fully charged now. I've got the two green lights. I've in the back I'll put the batteries in. So just close that up so that's all ready. I'll just check that. So you've got the power. So you've got a green light. Switches are always got to be up. I've done the battery, so they're ready to go. What I'll do now, just have a quick look at look over the drone, because I haven't used it for those amount of years. Um, looks looks moving fine. I can put in the battery in the back there. So that's all loaded up now. So just got to check the props. Just turn that off. So I've got the props. I've got the four props. So I've got two silver, two black. So you've got the black on there, the black on there, silver on there, silver on there. So if I'm right in thinking, they go that, no. So these are going clockwise. Anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, 
got a little gadget here just to make sure they're tightened up. One thing I did learn about these is just to make sure they are tightened. So they're all tightened up. Okay. That's all done. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna remove the uh, camera lens. That looks pretty clear. I've got to take off the uh, the gimbal protector as well. That's that. That's the reason for that. So the camera is all sorted. Put that there. And now it's just to set it up. So what I've done, I've uh, connected it up with the Phantom Wi-Fi, um, and obviously the app has opened up. It's saying it's connected. I'm trying to connect the camera now. Um, <clears throat> not much happening at the moment, but I will give it faith. Hopefully, it will kick in. I think what I'll do, I'll just, I'll just check. It's got no SD card. Okay, maybe that's what uh, that's what it is. So no SD card. So I've just inserted an SD card. Let's just see what happens now. So if I press the so the camera's going. Right, heard the, heard the noise. It's taking a photograph of nothing. <laughs> no. Um, okay, it's what we got. So we got, yeah, that's telling me anything about the um, settings on it. Okay. Okay, everything's looking good here. Well, I'm just trying to move the the gimbal. The gimbal's moving, which is good. So the gimbal's up, camera's up. Um, what else could I check? Okay, let's we'll go back there. Settings. Okay. No battery. Okay, everything's everything's fine there. No, still no picture. Um What I will do now, I'll just see if it starts up. It'll be interesting to see. It's in its box. Now this is the box that I used to carry around with me, believe it or not. Um, it's a heavy box. <laughs> it's a heavy drone. Thank God these drones have changed. But anyway, so I've packed the drone. I've got the batteries all charged up. That's all ready. The only thing obviously you can't see, I won't be able to see what I'm flying, but I'm not going to fly it very far. But it's in its box. So... Got me instructions there, just in case. So, let's get ready. I'll just give you a little bit more spec on this machine. So this is the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus, a lot of big name in it. I'm glad they made it a lot shorter these days, but this was the very first drone, as I said before, that had everything. You got the, uh, your controller and obviously you've got your phone so you can see what you're doing when you're flying the drone because you've got video and take photographs it's a 40 megapixel camera it was very similar to the GoPro 2 I believe at that period um, the FPV control now the only thing that's gone wrong with after I've done all the setup uh, the only thing I can't do I can't I can get the screen on and that but I can't actually see what the drone's seeing. So I'm going to be flying blind. So what I've done, I've picked a, a big open space. I'm not going to fly it too far, but I know it does take video. So I want to see what the video comes out like. Now the range on this one was 700 meters. 
the DJI Phantom 2 Vision only was 300 whereas this the plus uh, was twice 700 meters um, what else have I missed out it's a 30 frames per second as well at 1080 full HD free axis gimbal 25 minutes now another thing because I still got mine and it's sort of it's more of a collector's item now I've seen on Amazon these have been going for about 800, 800 pounds so it's kept it if anything is more it costs more now to buy it than it did when I bought this so that's pretty good so I don't want to crash it but anyway we're going to do a bit of flying now <laughs> you always remember that sound it just takes a while to um, to kick in I've got to go into the Wi-Fi first to um, find the fountain Wi-Fi it's found it already which is good so I come out of that to see how many satellites I got I got um, looking at that I've got seven satellites which is good they always say if you're flying the drone make sure it's got over seven satellites if it's below well, I've got seven satellites which is good so let's get it going <laughs> I'll just make sure the switches are up Sure that the camera's facing forward. That's doing. I'm gonna put on the camera. So the camera's on now. Off we go. Turn it around. Let's go that way. What I'm doing, as I always say, when I'm taking anybody out that um, wants to learn how to fly a drone, I'm doing a box formation so I know what, where the drone is. Coming back towards me. Still taking the video. 20 susceptible, which is good. I've flown this drone for about three years. So I'm going to take it up. Just take it up and give it a bit of height. Now, with this drone also, if you do lose signal, it will return to home. See that there is a bit of movement, not much. I'm just, um, I'm just turning it for you, and I, as I turn it, it sort of, um, it does. Go off on one a bit. Anyway, it's decided to land by itself. <laughs> now, what I was going to do with this drone, I was going to show you waypoints and things like that, but because I can't see any photograph at all, um, yeah, it's just not going to happen. So, I, what I'm going to do with this drone now, I'm actually going to put it back into um, its little box in my room on display as my uh, trophy <laughs> uh, but what what I'm gonna do in the next video I'll be doing on the phantoms I'll be bringing out my phantom free standard I'll show you what I've sort of I've transformed it slightly I put some range range extenders on it uh, and we'll be doing that a little bit more because that's on the GGI go app um, which is still quite usable now I think the vision apps got so buggy and I think to be honest, even if I use a Litchi app on this, it, it probably wouldn't be very good anyway. So, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's brought back some memories for you guys that used to have the Vision Plus. 
when I first got it, it was amazing. Um, and the drones that you got out now are just don't compete with those sort of things but it was still great fun flying it and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do <laughs> subscribe to the channel that would be fantastic so i'll see you on the next fratum which will be the fratum free standard i think to be honest that's been my best drone for many years quite recently i obviously changed to the mini 2 and the mavic air 2 but the fratum free standard was a fantastic drone I can still fly it. I'm amazed how things haven't changed a lot. The video on that Fratton Free Stand is amazing. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Vision Plus today. Great drone. I think it's had its time now. I think that was its last flight, flight I should say. Anyway, adios amigos. Catch you next time. <laughs>